What a 24-hour period. My goodness. Last night, House Republicans accepted Marjorie Taylor Greene's apology uh, for some insidious stuff that she did on social media, things that she has said in the past. Uh, most people don't know who Marjorie Taylor Greene is. She's the freshman congresswoman from Georgia. Uh, the Democrats have set their sights on her. They're all in mock outrage over her while ignoring the insidious things that their stars say, like AOC. Ilhan Omar with all of her anti-Semitism, but nah, none of that really matters. We got to go after Marjorie Taylor Greene. And by the same token, House Republicans voted to keep Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney in her leadership post uh, of the Republican Party. And it was a secret vote. It was pretty overwhelming. 60-some Republicans voted to strip her of her committee chair, her leadership post, rather, because of her decision to support the impeachment of Donald Trump. Now, all of this is going to kind of be in the rearview mirror after next week's whimper of an impeachment trial. There's not going to be anything there. It's going to be quick. It's going to be over. It's going to be an acquittal. Uh, Trump gets vindicated. The Democrats and the Trump haters are going to have to contend with that. They're going to have to deal with that. Be careful what you wish for because they're going to be 0 for 2 when it comes to convicting Donald Trump of high crimes or misdemeanors. I don't know where you are with the Marjorie Taylor Greene stuff. We haven't spent a lot of time on it because, again, as I've said, most people don't know who she is. She's a freshman congresswoman from Georgia, comes from a very conservative district. And the problem is the words of the Democrats never come back to haunt them. They get away with anything. They get away with literally anything. 